All right, you ladies, gents, and nuns, ready to learn? If not, I totally understand. School can be very hard. But today we're going to learn fun things, because it's fun facts. Yeah. You get it? Okay. The gang from Scooby-Doo were originally a touring band. However, the first gig was canceled because of a ghost. The gang uncovered that the ghost was actually a real estate developer trying to get the theater shut down in order to get their gig back on track. But in the process of the case, lost their instruments and decided to instead devote themselves to solving mysteries. If that is not the most spiteful thing I've ever heard, I don't know what is. Ruby Fandom's official shipping spreadsheet contains 83 named characters, most of which are all shipped with each other and with themselves. Don't ask. And even though there are some blank spaces in the spreadsheet, there's still over 6,000 ships in Ruby Fandom. Some having multiple names. Lucifer, why are you keeping track of that? Is there a new level of hell you're working on? High altitude military parachuting, or military freefall MFF, is a method of delivering military personnel, military equipment, and other military supplies from a transport aircraft at a high altitude via freefall parachute insertion. Basically, you're flying off a plane to give your friend a sandwich. Two techniques are used HALO, high altitude low opening, and HAHO, high altitude high opening. I don't know why I snarky muttered those, but you. Take what you get. Blue light can induce insomniac behavior by basically telling your brain that it's daytime and you can't sleep now, which is why most new smartphones actually come with a blue light filter, because God, I cannot tell you how many times that has happened. The phrase goody two-shoes comes from an old belief that the richer someone is, the more righteous they are. Therefore, a poor wicked man would wear one or two shoes, while a rich good man would wear two. Not gonna lie, that's a hard belief to try to pass off in 2018. Because there's an equal balance of good and bad rich people and good and bad poor people. So, I don't know if that one works anymore. The Schmidt pain scale was determined by Schmidt himself, putting a hand in a container holding the animal he was testing and having it bite him. That's freaking metal, bro. That's all I gotta say about that. A group of hummingbirds is called a charm. A group of doves is called a duel. It has multiple names, but I liked duel. Is it duel or dull? I don't know. A group of parrots is called a pandemonium, and a group of ravens is called a conspiracy. No, seriously, look it up. So, if a group of ravens tried to merge into a group of crows, would that be a conspiracy to commit murder? Scientists have studied that self-driving cars would be used for getting hot and heavy. Are you all surprised by that? Even the scientists said it's really not that much of a stretch. There would be so many steamy cars on the highway. Dear God. Napoleon was able to convince multiple armies that they should not shoot him. Napoleon was the one character that poured all of his points into charisma. And it worked. The existence of non-binary slash gender ambiguous individuals can be traced back to the era of Gilgamesh and the Sumerian period of history. Most notably, the goddess Ishtar granted all intersex and androgyne people the gifts of healing and prophecy as a reward for one androgyne individual saving her from the underworld. Be proud, my non-binary peeps. Y'all have been a part of history for a very long time. One time, the citizens of London caused a blackout over the entire energy grid because too many of them turned on their electric kettles at the same time. A.K.A. tea time. Oh, that's adorable. Then again, I'm sure American towns have caused blackouts over too many people using their cure eggs. There is a shrimp known as the Pistol Shrimp, which can shoot out bubbles which explodes at temperatures over 4,700 degrees Celsius. For perspective, the surface of the sun is 5,500 degrees Celsius. I mean, there's a lot more that goes into it, but yeah, technically. OK is an abbreviation for all correct. All correct is a relic of writers in early 19th century New England of intentionally misspelling words. OK lasted this long because it was a useful phrase. And yes, it means all correct. OK. Paper wasps, despite their name, are actually pretty docile for a species of wasp and will only attack if they feel their nest is threatened. However, while they may be docile, their stings are incredibly painful and can cause a potentially fatal anaphylactic response in some individuals. And just a reminder, they're not like bees. Their sting doesn't kill them. They can sting you for as long as they want. So for the love of all that is holy, do not frick frackle with wasps. And the last fun fact of the day. Switzerland accidentally invaded Liechtenstein in 2007, when 170 soldiers got lost in the rain. 
the Liechtenstein government accepted the Swiss apology, saying that it has happened before and nobody really realized it. For those of you that don't know, Liechtenstein is a very small country. Like, you can literally walk across the entire country within nine hours. Walk. Not drive. Walk. Nine hours. You can make a day out of crossing a country. It's also a really cute country. I highly recommend it if you're backpacking across Europe or whatever those hip kids do these days. And those are your fun facts for the day. Thank you, Discord. You're all lovely.